let's look at some interesting consequences of the dot product. And the first one that I want to look at is the consequence it has for the definition of the length of a vector. Um, it turns out that, that because the way the dot product is defined, we can think of the length of the vector as the square root of the vector dotted with itself. And why does that make any sense? Well, if we think about what this is equal to, this dot product here is just u1 times u1, which is u1 squared, plus u2 times u2, which is u2 squared, plus all the way up to un times un, so un squared. So that just comes from the definition of a dot product. We take each of the components, we multiply them together, and we add them up. And we already said that this is how we are going to define the length of a vector. Remember, we did this in two dimensions where we used the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of a, a vector. In more dimensions, we just keep adding the squares of the components. However many more components we have, we square them and we add them underneath the square root. So that's the length of a vector, and, and it, so it makes sense that the square root of u dot u is, is the length of the vector. Um, also notice that, you know, this is a pretty natural follow uh, follow up, but the length of a vector squared that means is equal to the vector dotted with itself. So we just squared both sides of this. Okay, um, that's that's pretty cool. Um, what else? Well, the 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 inter the more interesting thing that happens is uh, has to do with. Uh, the angle between two vectors. So let's say this is u and this is v um, and this is theta. Well, what if we did u minus v? We already talked about the what u minus v is. It's the vector that points from v to u. Now we've drawn a triangle here. What we can do is we can use the law of cosines to help us uh, figure out this angle in here, or to help us figure out this side, u minus v. Um, so the law of cosines tells us that the length of the side we're trying to find, u minus v, so this is going all the way back to your geometry class, uh, and you can look up the law of cosines if you don't remember it, but that length squared is equal to the length of one of the sides, that's u, the length of u squared plus the length of v squared minus uh, the length of u times the length of v. So I know that these length symbols get really tedious, but I'm just going to keep going with them here. So minus the length of u times the length of v times the cosine of the angle between them. So this comes from the law of cosines. It's really just saying c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus ab cos theta. You might remember it better that way, but that's what we have. We have a side u minus v and, and a side u and a side v. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to examine this side. So let's pull that side out and, and look at it separately. So we have uh, the length of u minus v squared, well that's just u minus v dotted with u minus v, so let's do that. u minus v dotted with itself. And now there's some properties of dot products that I haven't told you about that are going to become useful here, uh, like commutativity, but we'll, we'll see that in action. So u dot u well, we just talked about that. That's the length of u squared. So let's write that as that. u dot u is the length of u squared. And then we have u dot, uh, oh, I have dot products in there. Sorry, that's a mistake. This should be u minus v, u minus v. So u dotted with minus v, that's minus, so let me write that on the side, minus u v. Um, well, mi minus u dot v. And then we have minus v dot u, so that's m minus v dot u. But 
like I just said, the dot product is commutative. So this becomes when we when we add those two together, we just get minus two u dot v. So I hope that was relatively clear. Um, we're just foil, foiling this out with the dot product. Okay, so based on what we just talked about, that's minus 2 times u dot v. So just to be explicit, really explicit here, that was this u coming over here and this v coming this way. So, uh, I had to pause the video because my phone was ringing. But yeah, like I was saying, this u comes and multiplies that v. This v comes and multiplies that u. So we get minus 2 u dot v. Okay. Uh, and then finally, the v dotted with itself, while well, it's both negative, so that's going to be plus the length of v squared. This is just v dot v. It turns out to be. Okay. So this is what the left-hand side of the equation becomes. So why don't we substitute that in to uh, this, um, the law of cosines essentially, what we, what we have. So this is u squared, the length of u squared, minus 2 u, u dot v, plus the length of v squared is equal to the length of u squared, so this is now the right-hand side of the equation from up there, plus the length of v squared, minus the length of u times the length of v, times the cosine of the angle between them. Okay, so now we get to do a lot of canceling here. So let's see. Um, this and this are going to go away. We can subtract those from both sides. Those are going to go away. Oh, geez, I did uh, something terribly wrong here. This is not the law of cosines. We need a minus 2. And that means we need a minus 2 down here. And then we can divide the, the minus 2 on both sides, though. So that's, that's pretty cool. So sorry for forgetting that for the whole video. And what do we end up with after we do all that crazy cancellation? Well, we just end up with u dot v on this side. is equal to the length of u times the length of v times the cosine of the angle between them. And now that is really cool because uh, as long as we're given the vectors u and v, we could figure out what u dot v is based on the definition, sum up the products of the components. And then we can figure out the lengths. We know how to do that. We just take the square root uh, of the, the sum of the square of the components. And then we have this cosine of theta. So we can solve for theta. And we can figure out the angle between two vectors just knowing what the two vectors are. So that's really cool. So in fact, um, this is, a, this. well, remember that this proof came from the law of cosines, which only really works in two dimensions. We're talking about a triangle. So when we go to higher dimensions, we take it as a definition uh, that the cosine of theta is equal to u dot v divided by the length of u times the length of v. Um, so that just comes because we, we just divided by length of u, length of v. So notice two, two things happened here. One, we have an alternate uh, definition for the dot product or an alter, alternate way to express the dot product. Um, and also now we have a, a way to express the angle between two vectors in terms of the dot product. Uh, and that's really cool. So I hope this helps. I'll see you in the next video.